Let's say we're asked to find the domain of this strange looking function, one over the square root of five minus three x. Now there's a couple of things at play here, so let's tease this apart piece by piece. First, we need to recognize that we have a variable in the denominator, so there are going to be places where the denominator itself might be zero, so that's one place to watch out for. Now also, there's a radical in the denominator as well. So hopefully you remember that the radicand, or the thing inside the radical, cannot be negative. In the previous example, we saw that it could be zero and it could be positive, but because it is in the denominator in this problem, it actually can only be positive. It cannot be zero. If it were zero, we'd end up dividing by zero and that's illegal. So here, all we have to do is find where the radicand is positive. We start by setting up this inequality, five minus three X is greater than zero. We can subtract the five over to the other side, and that yields negative three X is greater than zero minus five, which is simply negative five. Now the inequality negative three X is greater than negative five can be solved by dividing both sides of the inequality by negative three. But remember, whenever we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, we have to change the direction of the inequality. So when we do the division, that inequality is going to turn into x is less than negative 5 divided by negative 3. Well, negative 5 divided by negative 3 is the same as 5 thirds. So really, our inequality is x is less than 5 thirds. Now we can graph this on a number line. So I have a number line in front of us with the number five over three plotted in the middle. We can pick a number to the left, let's say zero. If I were to plug zero into my original function, one over the square root of five minus three x, five minus three times zero would just be five. Now I don't know what the square root of five is, but I know that it exists. I know that it's some number. So all the numbers to the left of 5 thirds are therefore going to be in the domain, but 5 thirds itself will not be in the domain. The reason for that is if we were to plug 5 thirds in here, the threes would cancel. You'd be left with five minus the five, which is zero. When you find the square root of zero, you're going to get a zero in the denominator of the fraction, which is illegal. So all the numbers to the left of 5 thirds are fine. 5 thirds itself is not. And if we pick a number to the right of 5 thirds, let's say 3. Well, 3 times 3 is 9. 5 minus 9 is negative 4. And if we find the square root of negative 4, we run into a problem. It is illegal to find the square root of negative numbers. So that region gets a cross over it. None of those numbers will belong to the domain. Now writing the domain is easy. We look at the intervals from left to right. We start at negative infinity because all the numbers to the left of 5 thirds were in the domain. And then we stop at 5 thirds with a parentheses around it because 5 thirds itself is excluded. And that's it. 